Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a Vlogmas Day 11. Hey guys, so we're gonna do something a little different today and I'm actually very excited to do this because I've never ever ever thought to do colored eyebrows, but we're gonna give it a try today. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my P. Louise eye base and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that on my eyebrows. And you guys might be like, girl, what the hell is you about to do, sis? I really don't know. We're just about to give a new fun makeup look a try. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just blend that into my brows. And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like this is gonna help the color kinda, you know, pay out a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my The Queen palette by Eloise. So the color I'm gonna start off with is going to be this purple color. So I'm gonna start this on the bottom and the back end of my brow. This is going to be like the tail and pretty much the outline for the brows. So I'm trying to use the darker color for that because typically this is the area where the most hair is and where it is the darkest of your brows. I'm gonna just bring that up a little bit. I'm gonna also kind of carve out the top back half of my brow. Now I'm gonna take Empress over here and I'm gonna go to the middle of my brow now. All right, and now I'm gonna take Elizabeth and I'm gonna put that on the front. And you want this one to mimic the hair like strokes. So I'm going up with this brush. These shadows are super pigmented. So now I'm shaping my brows and I'm going to go back and touch them up as needed. But first I need to kind of figure out where are we going with this? So it's like, what is looking like? It is a little bit white, obviously, at the beginning of my brow, but hopefully when I put on my like, foundation and all that stuff, it will go away. I'm gonna try to put like a little bit of powder over the front of that to kind of cover that, but so far, I think we might have got the brows done. I can actually take this and I'm gonna just stamp over the front of that brow. Let's go ahead and jump into the face. So recently I've been really loving the combination of using my Tatcha Liquid Soap Canvas. And surprisingly, I went back to the original matte formula of the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I am in love with this one all over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these two together today. And you guys know that I typically use a brush to blend in my foundation and then a beauty blender after, but I've been actually liking the whole dipping the beauty blender in the actual foundation and then just doing that method. But it does feel like it's a little bit more full coverage when I do that. So depending on what you like, I would just, you know, kind of switch it up and see, you know, what works for you. And the trick too is that I don't bring my beauty blender out all the way. So I felt like it was like sucking up my foundation when I would do this method. But I think I found the answer is just don't ring it out all the way. Ring it out, but not all the way. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Camel Concealer and my Fenty Beauty Concealer and I'm gonna mix them. And I typically blend this part out with a brush first and then my Beauty Blender, but like I said, we're just gonna go ahead, we're just gonna Beauty Blender everything today. And before I move on, I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eye. Now I'm gonna set my chin and my smile lines. And for contour, I'm using Cameroon by Juvia's Place. Why not do our nose? Let's do our nose today. This just blends so beautifully. Like the formula of these sticks are just amazing. And the reason I'm using this brush first is the one that I normally use is because I don't want to blend out my contour too much. I do want this to be a really editorial type of look. Cause like when else would you be wearing colored brows? And then I'm gonna take this brush here and go ahead and just blend out my nose contour. And now I'm just setting my face using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and brushing away any powder that might be left behind. So I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Powder because this one is a little bit darker for my cheeks. And then for my forehead, I'm gonna use my Fenty Bronzer and Mocha Mommy. Nose Contour Fenty Beauty. And then I'm gonna just go over everything again with that brush with no extra product, just to blend everything all together. So I'm gonna use both the Eloise palette and this Ciate, 
Cicate, I don't know, Cicate London? I don't know how to say it. This is the editor palette, so I'm gonna use this as well. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit more of my P. Louise Eye Base. I'm going to pop this on my lids. So first I'm gonna take the Cicate, Ciate, whatever you call this palette, and I'm gonna take a brush and I'm going to take, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this like little purpley color down here and I'm gonna pop this on my outer lid. I don't know why I felt like playing with all shimmers for this look, but that's what we're going for here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out these edges. Now I'm gonna take this gold color here. And I'm gonna pop this all on the middle, the front of my eyelid. And I'm gonna have it meet this purple color here at the top. Not in the middle though, only at the top. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing here because I do not do glittery shadows. I never do glittery shadows, so like what the heck is going on here? What the hell? Girl, what the hell? What the hell? This is just doing too much. That's what I feel like this is. It's just doing too much. That's I should use that color. I'm gonna take powerful here and I'm gonna place this on top and try to cover all of that up with the ooh. That's a pretty, pretty color. And I'm gonna go actually over that purple on the outer lid. And then with that brush that I used that purple color, I'm gonna just go ahead and bring that back in that crease. That's it, not actually on the lid anymore. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing with all these glittery shadows. Like these colors would never even sit together. So I'm just surprised that I felt like putting these all on my eyes was gonna work. With Sheba here, I'm gonna go ahead and just soften those edges. Before I do anything else, I need to go ahead and pop on a wing and some lashes and see if this is even worth me like continuing on. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so when I put the lashes on, it actually doesn't look bad. Like it looks like it, like, you know, it was supposed to look like this. So I'm gonna just keep going with it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop on some blush. So I'm gonna be using this Laura Mercier Peach Blush. I've been liking this lately and I don't know, I just feel like this look, it's gotta be more pinky and kinda go with the purpley everything. So I'm gonna pop this on. It has a nice soft golden undertone to it, which I really like and I feel like it looks very natural and not like hella peachy pinky color. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite highlighters by The Melt, which is the Digital Dust. Why is that so hard for me to say? Digital Dust Highlight, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop this right here. I just love this highlight. Like this is just the cutest, like iridescent for darker skin highlight ever. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I'm gonna put some on the tip here. Oh my gosh, this highlight sauce. Get this, get this, sis, you need this. You need this, you need it. So I'm gonna go back in with my Eloise palette here and I'm gonna go ahead and mimic the colors that I have on the top on the bottom, but I'm gonna be using matte shades. I do not wanna use shimmer shades for that. And this is a black owned brand. Hence why these colors are showing up like this. It's like, this stuff is super pigmented. I was skeptical because I didn't know if it was gonna show up on my brows, but it was so pigmented that it worked. And these shades are just amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line my lower lash line and apply some mascara to both my bottom and my top lashes. And then we'll be back to go ahead and do our lips and finish up this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my cork lip liner first. And then I'm gonna go with In Vogue by Juvia's Place. So that's kind of nudie-ish. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton. And I'm gonna pop this right in the middle. And then I'm gonna blend this in. Before I decide on gloss or not, I'm gonna take my highlighter. And I'm gonna pop a little bit on the middle. That's cute, it gives it a little bit of a gloss feel, but I think I'm actually gonna add a gloss to this. So I'm gonna take my Kylie One in a Billion gloss and put that right there. And then just kind of blend those together. Alrighty guys, and here is the finished look. I went ahead to throw on my Twee and Skinny Dip earrings. I really like these earrings. I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. This was low-key very random. Like, why did I want to change my brow color? Why did I only want to use shimmer shadows? Who knows? But I like how the look turned out. I think just for fun, this is a really cool look to do. And again, this Eloise palette was amazing. I got this in my BoxyCharm, and I don't know if I actually did a video talking about this palette,
Olive. Eloise is a black owned makeup company. And so as you guys saw, you know, the shadows are very pigmented. They're very easy to work with. I feel like you guys could get a lot of use out of this. And like literally as I was doing my makeup, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to try this. I want to try this. I want to try this. Like there's so many different shades that I want to try from this palette. So if you guys like this look and you like this palette, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know you guys want to see another one. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss when I post the next Vlogmas video. Today is Vlogmas Day 11, you guys, and I'm really, really, really excited because I feel like we're getting to the end of this. Like, not to say I don't like doing this, but it's just like a lot. It's a, it's a lot. So if you guys are enjoying Vlogmas, please make sure to keep giving these videos a thumbs up. Make sure to check out Vlogmas 1 through 10 if you have not checked those out. All of them will be linked down below in the description box. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in Vlogmas Day 12.